Hey guys, what is up? So I'm going to do a review on my first 1,000 miles. As you can see, um, I've done 1,200 so far. And um, I just kind of wanted to give you guys a breakdown on how the bike is holding up. You know, any little issues I came across. You know, just the good and the bad of um, getting this many miles. So first I'm going to start with the tires. So with the tires, they still look good, as you can see. These hookworms still look grippy. Um, honestly, they're really amazing. They still, then they still look good. Still got good treading on them, which is, you know, really surprising for a thousand miles. So they've been lasting amazingly. Um, just, I would say, I have caught a flat with them. Um, so I would recommend you, um, cause this isn't a fat tire bike. You know, these are BMX tires. So I would recommend that you get your tires lined cause I got my back ones lined with some liner in it to, you know, just protect it. Um, and mostly I would say get the back ones lined because of the um, hub motor. And that's where some weight is at. So I would, you know, get the back tires line because that's where you know most of the weight is crashing down at that's where you're seated sitting at and um i had no liners in the beginning and i caught my first flat tire after that i got my back tires lined and um i haven't had issues since so these tires are amazing um you know that passes the test for sure the brakes as you guys know the brakes are amazing um for this bike um I've had to change my front brake pads because that's the one I use the most. Um, I did change them once, but after that, I haven't had any issues. Um, they've been amazing to me. Um, no issues with the brakes. Uh, the battery, as you guys know, after my first ride, um, when I didn't, you can see all the scuffs on it. Um, it only fell once. And that was after the first ride when I didn't lock it properly. So it was definitely my fault. Um, I felt resistance in when I was turning the key, but uh, I thought that was actually like locking it. So, um, you know, that was my fault. You're supposed to turn, the, when you turn the key to lock the battery on, you're supposed to feel no type of resistance. And it fell off, but that's where all these scratches are from that one fall. But um, in terms of battery and how long it's lasting, Honestly, I have not felt any drop off from this battery. This battery is lasting as good as when I first got it. Um, in the winter, um, since it's so cold, there was supposed to be a drop off, but I honestly did not feel it, you know, um, which is amazing. But I'm still getting 30 plus miles from it. You know, I don't run into depletion, but I'm sure I can get 40, 40 plus from it and the battery has been lasting an amazing time for me. I don't, you know, you're supposed to avoid your battery from sitting in the sun and, um, you know, to preserve it, keep it in a nice, cool environment away from the sun. Um, and my brake light still is working amazing. Let me show you. So with a lot of e-bikes, there's incidents when the light runs out um, but this light, I, I honestly haven't met a zoos person who have had their light blow out on them. Um, but the light is still going strong. You can see I'm flickering it a bit after a thousand miles, still going strong. Um, yeah, you can see this cord over here. Um, still going strong, water resistant. Um, the beauty about this bike is that it takes all regular BMX parts so you know I'm a stock guy I really like how the bike originally looks so you know I'm not really into modding my bike as much as other people you know it's just my personal thing I'm a kind of a minimalist kind of person but with this bike you can get real crazy with it customizing it just because it just takes basic BMX parts from it you know so you know any BMX part you can um get you know you can kind of add to it whether it's pedals whether it's grips and 
honestly these stock grips um they've been lasting me you know they're i wouldn't say they're the best grips but they have good grip like it's a good grip to start with um me personally i love them um they're grippy for me and i haven't had any issues with them also when it comes to the also when it comes to the handlebars um i had i did adjust i do adjust them every now and then just to make sure that they're tight as you can see there are the bolts and you lift this up and you can um you can see you know where that bolt is you tighten it but you know they they're still tight they still tighten well um they rarely move but i just tighten them as a precaution but they you know they've been working well for me um the bike has been super reliable i haven't had any issues this thing is a tank um yeah, let's go over here in terms of my chain. Yeah, the chain's good. I've been maintaining it. Um, I um, put chain cleaner on it. First, I, I brushed the chain off and then I used cleaner on it. And then after cleaner, I grease it up and it's been good. It's been um, solid. It's been real smooth. In terms of washing it, um, I'll put the link below, but I got this like dry wash. I just washed it like I want to say yesterday um and it is looking clean look at that gleam you seeing right now that thing it, it washes it and it also polishes it so it gives it this nice luster i'll put the link in the description for you guys um when it comes to the seat the seat is pretty comfortable as comfortable as you're gonna get like with any bike if you're sitting in the seat for a long period of time then it'll hurt your butt um you know, especially with this bike, if you, you know, you're sitting down for a long time and pedaling, it can start to ache on your butt. But, you know, as, as I said, you can mod it out. There's a lot of companies you can go to get it upholstered. For me, it's not that big of an issue. The seat is comfortable. I've sat on other e-bikes. Um, it's comfortable, like it's more comfortable than a Suron stock seat. Or for me personally, it's more comfortable than a Super stock seat. Um, but yeah, it's a decent stock seat. You know, it's not bad at all. Um, yeah, this bike is amazing for it to be super lightweight and, um, you know, super lightweight and pack like 32 miles per hour in it. I would say this bike is like, what, like high 50, 60 pounds, which is amazing for, you know, an e-bike that's super light like this. Um, yeah, it's still as nimble. I've tried out some other e-bikes and um, the biggest thing I would take away is that the Zoos is super nimble. Um, it might be because it doesn't have fat tires on it or whatever, but this thing um, in terms of like carving and dipping in and out of traffic and moving around, this thing has like a beautiful nimble feel to it. Um, yeah, which I really love. Um, obviously this thing doesn't go 40 to 50 miles per hour but like in terms of a city the city speed limit is only 25 miles per hour so i don't really need to be going that fast you know 30 is more than enough to keep up with traffic or even pass traffic so um you know i'm good if i want a dirt bike then or a faster thing then you know you'll get a, another e-bike but this is good for what it is you know definitely worth it um a benefit to this bike also I'm starting to look notice is that it doesn't even look like an e-bike like I've you know that which is cool like if you want to stay incognito it looks amazing like you'll get compliments on it but a lot of people don't even know it's like an e-bike um which is good for you know going on bike paths certain bikes you can't take on bike paths because they look too much like a motorcycle so you know this bike is amazing for what it is um the kickstand oh there we go when it comes to the kickstand the original kickstand did break on me but it was i don't know i guess it was my fault because i put the kickstand up and it was like on kind of like a hill on an angle and then my bike actually did fall and the kickstand broke but this one for sure i got it up from amazon it, it does feel more sturdy for me um it, like it locks in place better than the stock kickstand so i would say definitely get another kickstand 
um, if you do get this bike. You know, it's not required. Like the the stock kickstand is decent, but like this kickstand is so much better um, just to hold my bike up. So, you know, that's also. Um, the rotors still look good. They don't look warped. Um, nice size rotors. Definitely do the job. Stopping power is amazing with these hydraulic brakes. Some no problems with my hub motor. Um, it's still, you know, still moves the same how it did in the beginning. Um, still picks up well. Still hitting it. I just hit 30 coming over here, so it's still hitting the speed I was supposed to hit. Um, I only have a couple mods on it. Well, I wouldn't even consider these mods, but I have um, the alarm system, you know, so when I'm parking or locking it up, then, you know, if anybody touches it, it'll, it'll alert them. Um, I have inside the controller in the back where the, around where the light is, I have an Apple AirTag in it. So it's super hidden, um, you know, just in case, you know, I can locate it super fast and they won't know. And that's locked in. Um, what else? The display still works well, like I used to. I have no issues with that. The throttle still works amazingly. I had no type of sticking with my throttle or anything like that. Um, like I said, brakes work well. Um, the seat is comfortable. Another trick I use is that I get um, bike shorts which have pads in them. And, you know, if I'm going out riding, then I'll wear them because I know I'm not gonna be doing much just riding the whole day. So that's another trick I use. Stock pedals aren't bad at all. They're good, but if you want something that's gonna clip to your feet, then you can switch those out with another BMX pedal, um, which is all right. Um, I, I haven't come across any rusting while cleaning it. It still looks sharp, still gleams. Um, yeah, awesome. The spokes are super solid. I haven't seen any warping or anything like that from the spokes. Now I've done some jumps on this bad boy, so, you know, the spokes are like super strong, super thick um, for an e-bike, which I feel like is appropriate. Definitely still looks good. Um, and I haven't been that great about cleaning it, but look at how it's shining right now. Um, lately, I've been cleaning it more often after every ride. Um, before, I would give it a couple rides, but now um, with that new dry clean I purchased, I've been, you know, cleaning it after every ride for the most part. Just a quick wash off, just since it's so easy to wipe off. Yeah, this is an awesome purchase. This thing is still a beast. Um, this purchase, I am not mad at it. It was definitely worth it. Um, if you want something really low key, um, that doesn't get you recognized and you can go on bike paths and not nobody really turn a blind eye to it not knowing that you're packing like 30 miles per hour in this bike also i get so many compliments per day on this bike um yeah get the zoos uh, i won't steal you wrong also shout out to everybody who did purchase a zoos and you know i love getting your guys feedback on how you're enjoying the bike um, you know, it makes me feel good that I'm steering you in the right direction with this purchase. Um, the people at Zeus are super, super responsive, um, you know, with issues. So if you have any issues, you, reach, you know, try their best to help you out with it. Definitely, definitely satisfied with this purchase. Yeah, no problems. This is a good, solid first thousand miles. And I see this bike going for, as long as I maintain it well, I can see this bike going forever, as long as the motor goes um i can see this thing staying in good shape all right guys i'll catch you guys later peace i'm about to ride out right now oh yeah make sure you like and subscribe Bye. Bye. Bye.